Hey, what's up, you guys? Today we're going to do something a little different. And we're going to tell you about how we began dating. Question. Right. What would I be without you? What would I be? I was only half before I met you. Miserable past, but that no longer matters. No longer we just matters. focus on making this last through infinite power, yeah? yeah. Why would I be without you? Would I be? I'm, seeing I'm seeing rainbows. Seeing rainbows. Before the only color I, I saw was blue. blue. Can't nobody tell me I wasn't made for you. Wow. So we were at work. I started working there. I guess Carla was feeling the kid. She was a, a supervisor, a manager. A team leader. She was a team leader. Um, and I was just a regular little agent bouncing around in my own little world. And um, somehow I ended up on her team. <laughs> um. Yeah, so like Nick said, I noticed her. Um, but before she got on my team, I noticed her. And um, I had actually approached her with someone else and um, asked her her name. And she told me. And then I told her she was cute. And then shortly after that, she ended up on my team. And I was like, how the fuck she ended up on my team? Out of all teams, why the fuck she ended up on my team? So then it was like after that, I ain't like her no more. You know, I was kind of like, her attitude suck. I got to know her. <laughs> yeah, and that's mainly because um, I was in a relationship at the time. I was actually engaged. And whenever I'm in a relationship with someone, um, I do have this demeanor where it's like, do not approach me, do not try to talk to me. Because I just, when I'm with someone, I'm loyal to that person. And Carla, she kind of ran over the topic. This, what she said real fast when she said, I said she was cute. This is how she said it. So I'm in the break room, minding my Nick, business. Okay, can I say my part? Yes, remember. Go, uh, let me say my part. Hold up, can I just say this? Go ahead. There's three sides to every story. This is Nick's version. So I'm in the break room and I'm minding my business, you know, thinking about what I got to do next. All of a sudden I hear, hey you, you cute. And I was like, let me clutch my invisible pearls. <laughs> now what's your version? So, <laughs> no, I just walked, we were walking by and I just said, what's your name? And she said, Nick. And I was like, Nick, you cute. Oh, and, my goodness. <laughs> and we kept on. She said, thank you. And I said, you're welcome. And we kept on walking. That was it. Okay, so like she said, it's so three sides to maybe, every story. Maybe she was feeling herself. Oh, my But goodness. when nobody did, nobody had a face on the name now. <laughs> so fast forward down the line. Um, I got to know Carla as a person, you know, being on her team and I'm seeing her every day. She's teaching me things. I'm like, wow, she is very intelligent. So it got to a point where the a few of the girls on the team would make fun of me because it's me. I'm living by myself. Uh, my fiance, she lived in a different state because she moved out of state. But I would do things like I would retwist only the front <laughs> of my hair, but I would leave the back <laughs> untwisted and her and some other chick would call me out and they'd be like, ha, I see you only retwisted the front of your head. <laughs> so then, um, what, how did we get to the point that you retwisted my hair? Mm, I think that was a while did later. Did you offer or did I suggest it? Um, did Shantiria suggest it? I don't even know how that happened. Well, um, we got to the point where Carla decided, well, I think the offer was on the table that Carla would retwist my hair. Um, I don't know if you asked me who was doing my hair or something and I said I did. When um, everything was said and done with my fiance, now it's not where I hopped out of a relationship and then hopped on another person. Yeah. Uh, the situation with my fiance, we were go it was a long drawn out process. Again, she's living in a different state. It's kind of like you already know that the relationship is over with. We just gotta announce it and have a pretty good reason to announce it. But anyways, so I decided to to uh, take up on our offer, and um, I I said, yeah, when you when you want to retwist my hair? And I asked her when you want to get done. 
and I said tonight. <laughs> so then what happened? <laughs> so go ahead, keep telling the story. I don't know. Did I come that day? You came. <laughs> finally came over my house I guess I think it is some kids that let's watch this so we try to keep it as PG as possible but yeah she she came to the house um, I had a right red light bulb in my um in my in my bedroom and keep in mind I live by myself got two bedrooms got everything popping I was you know doing the dang thing and uh, I think she liked that especially me being a younger person a younger woman and Carla's actually an older woman, so we dating each other. She's dated a younger person before, um, assuming it wasn't successful. That's why she's with me. But her seeing the maturity in me, especially knowing how I was when <clears throat> I was in a relationship, even though it wasn't all that. Um, we call that night, what, the red light special? Yeah. You get real quiet and bless you. <laughs> The red light special, <laughs> and um, had to show her a few little things, a few little tricks that I had in my bag. And um, after that, what happened um, the next day? Me, I'm a real busybody. I'm always moving around, so I'm building a futon for my spare room, and I'm doing all this and that. And I noticed she was just so chill, and I was like, man, I really like, cause the girls I would usually date. They were attention whores. They needed attention. Nick, 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 too much music. Nick, 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 too much this. So when I realized how laid back she was, it made me even more interested in her because I never spoke with a person who was, who was so laid back. And I liked that. I, I liked it. So um, ever since then, we've been together. How long we been together now? It's been, it was two years in October 1st, as a matter of fact, because that's the day after, you know, the real life special. <laughs> so this was story time. And also, if you want to hear us speak about something else, maybe you've been curious about things in our life, leave a comment and we'll speak about it on the next story time. Hey, everybody. I'm Nick Rochelle. And I'm Carla. And I'm Nikki. <laughs> and this is the Nick, Nikki, and Carla G vlog. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this <laughs> vlog, please subscribe. And also hit that bell, the notification bell, so you receive notification every time we post. We post vlogs almost every day. Thank you so much for your love and support. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye, y'all. <laughs>